the weather's starting to change. It's starting to get cold outside. This review today, we're going to be talking about the Handy Heater, an As Seen on TV small space or small room heater. Um, it looks to be interesting. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly As Seen on TV items. Uh, some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to and I think it's fun. If that's something that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel by clicking the button below and also clicking the bell next to it so you're notified every single time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's see what the handy heater is all about. We're going to start this one off with a little bit of a story that I think is kind of humorous. When I first started out my YouTube channel, I purchased a bunch of As Seen on TV items to review, and honestly, I didn't get to all of them. I still have some in a drawer. One of them was the handy heater, or so I thought. Well, you see, I couldn't find it in the store, so I ended up ordering it off of Amazon, and I put it away until recently when I went and took it out uh, because I saw them in the store again. And look, look at this. This is called the Warm Air Blower. All right? Now, let's put that right next to the handy heater, because I did go out and find one of these um, at Walmart. But look, the pictures are the same on the sides. Everything is the same, except this is not the handy heater. This is. It might come from the same factory, actually, but if you order things on Amazon, even if you type in handy heater, because I know I did, and I purchased something that said handy heater, because I went back and looked, you might not get the product that you actually purchased. So make sure you check that out. Um, and be a little more vigilant than I was because I certainly um, didn't get what I thought I had ordered. Anyway, so the Handy Heater retails for about $30 at your local As Seen on TV retailer. I purchased this one at Amazon. Um, it's supposed to be a room or a small room heater. This one is a powerful 350 watts. That's also something different from this one. This one says 400 watts, so it's a little different. All right, so if we open this box up... <clears throat> does not look like I have any directions. Um, so what I have is the actual handy heater, okay? So it's a pretty big device. And what I like about this is you can change the orientation of the plug by pushing this button and turning this. So if you have a sideways plug or, or something's upside down, you can change it. I mean, just push it. Um, and that's, you know, versatile because some people have plugs that are upside down or sideways. So I really, really like that. Um, it does have an LED or a lit screen. I don't I won't say that it's LED, but it's a lit screen. It has a uh, speed button for the how fast it's blowing out. It has a timer so you can shut it off. It has an up temperature and a down temperature. And, of course, the on-off is on the side. I'm really anxious to see how this will work in my um, bathroom. I have a small bathroom off of my living room, and I would like to see how that works, because that's pretty much where I would use this, because the heat in the winter doesn't go so well in there, so it'd be nice to have something else. So let's go check it out. Okay, so we're gonna plug this right in here, and immediately the unit turns on. Let's take a closer look. The temperature reads here at 90, so let's turn that down. We'll get it down to like 70 degrees or so, something normal. And you see that here is a red light. Now, that's actually just a light. Most of these kind of heaters that you've seen, the inside will glow, but this is actually just an LED light. There's a fan here on the bottom. Okay, so you need to make sure you don't block that, and the heat actually comes out here. I can feel heat coming out. And right now, I'll go get a temperature gun just to show you what the temperature is. But more importantly, I want to see if the temperature in this bathroom changes. Okay, so that's still blowing out. It says 70, so let's see what it says with its temperature gauge. I mean, it's reading some pretty high heat coming out, so I'm certain this is going to change the temperature of the room. Let me get a temperature gauge for this actual room and see if that changes the temperature at all. Okay, so here we have a temperature gauge. And it shows outside temperature and it shows inside temperature. So the inside right here shows 66 degrees. So let's turn this on and see, one, how long it takes. Hold on, let me bring this back down to 70. How long it takes to bring it up to 70 and, frankly, if it does. So I'll come back to video if it's reached that time um, and show you what it looks like then. While we wait for that room to heat up, 
Quick question. Do you think you would ever use something like the handy heater, a small heater, a portable heater for, well, I guess, a small room? It says up to 250 square feet. Let me know down in the comment section below. Would you use something like this or have you used something like this? It has been 25 minutes since I first turned this heater on. And look, this went from 66 degrees to 70. You know what's funny? Right when I started filming this, that shut off. So it's pretty accurate. So this reached 70 and that reached 70. So you know what? 25 minutes, it brought it up, um, you know, from 66 to 70. Not so bad. I want to show you a couple features on this. One is the timer. So here's where it says timer. If I click that, it goes to zero, zero. Now, the timer lets me go between one hour and 12 hours. So I just click one, two, three, or how many hours I want. And when, I, when it finally registers, it'll turn off and go back to the temperature. And in a sense, this will run for six hours. It is not the kind of timer where you can set it to start, but it's only a timer where it could be running and then it shuts off. So one to 12 hours. You can also change the speed of the fan here. Um, there's low and there's high. So just so you know, you can change the speed um, between those two. So today we've been looking at the handy heater and as seen on TV, small space heater that plugs directly into an outlet. They actually say, do not plug this into an extension cord. It must go into a three pronged outlet. I spoke too soon earlier when I said that I didn't have directions. This little box piece was there and I took it out and this was actually underneath it. And I found a lot of interesting things in the directions. So if you look right here on the box, it says, let me find it. Well, I mean, it looks like a, she's in a powder room, right? Which I would think would be a bathroom. And also it says great for garages, bedrooms, powder rooms, and more. Well, right in the directions, it says not intended for use in bathrooms. I thought, wait a minute, isn't a powder room a bathroom? I guess the whole concept behind that is they don't want you dunking this in the tub. They don't want you hurting yourself. So be careful where you end up using it. I put it in my bathroom. It actually says don't use it on a GFCI outlet, and I think it's because they don't want you to use it in the bathroom. Even though it worked fine, um, it's just something you should know. Um, it also says when you have this installed, keep it three, a minimum of three feet away from curtains, from blankets, from other cloths, because this does get very, very hot. You saw on the temperature gauge how hot it got, and it could potentially be flammable. Keep it away from it, chocolate. <laughs> yeah, you keep it away from chocolate because that will melt. That's what she said. All right, so also it's supposed to heat an area 250 square foot, and then after it's done, it says let it cool down for about 5 to 10 minutes before removing it. Um, so those are just things that I thought you should know. Now, let's get to the nitty-gritty. Should you buy or deny? This thing is $30, and that's pretty expensive, um, at least for me. I mean, I, I like the price point of the 1999 ones. I noticed last year when these were sold, after the winter season, these things were reduced half price, so that might be a time to buy. Um, I think there are other items out there that might be more versatile in that same price range, so I'd have to say right now, deny. Um, cheaper, absolutely, I would buy it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to try it in my RV because it's a small space. I want to see if this will work um, so we're not running propane to heat things in the winter. So this was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Thanks for sticking around for my review of the Handy Heater, an as-seen-on-TV small airy heater. Remember what I said in the beginning? Don't get fooled by getting the warm air blower because it looks just the same. So be careful if you order that online. Anyway, if you're up for another review, not too long ago I did the My Fold-Away Mirror. It's from, oh, I think it has a one-time magnification mirror and a ten-time magnification mirror. Plus there's like some storage areas and a little light. If you want to see that review, I'm going to link it right up here so I would love it if you would click on that. And I will see you over at the My Fold Away Mirror Review. See you there.